Hello there, welcome back to coverage here of the Innistrad Championship. Marshall Sutcliffe with Paul Chion. Thank you so much for joining us. We've still got more historic action to bring you from this round. Let's head back down to the feature where we've got two players with disparate records, Paul. This happens sometimes at this stage. We've got Arya Karam Chandani on the left. She's on eight and two for the record. On the other side, Fatoshi I I uh, Iwata, who is sitting on seven and three. So Arya's playing down this round, as we say, but Fatoshi has won game number one, and we're gonna join this in uh, game number two. Celestia Humans for Arya. She's brought the deck that is kind of the one to look at, I think, for this tournament. Um, playing against Rakdos Goblins in the hands of Iwata. What's up with Rakdos Goblins? I mean, I think it might be okay against humans, if you think about it, right? The humans decks don't... They're, they're really good at taxing spells, but not creatures, right? Mm -hmm. So when you play cards like Esper Sentinel, when you play cards like Thalia... I mean, if your plan is to ramp up and play a Muxus, how can the Humans deck stop what that's trying to do? Not only that, I mean, Munitions Expert is a really, really great removal effect that you can play in the matchup too. So, you know, maybe Futoshi chose to play this Rakdos Goblins deck uh, just specifically to go against, uh, against these various creature decks that we see at the top of the table. So this is still, though, the, the Muxus shell the combo version of goblins that we see right this isn't just some some other tribal version no no it's basically just playing munitions expert at mm. least generally game one as the black card that it's splashing that seems good in this matchup too right like get, gets you a creature dead in the meantime yeah. aria is running out a nice little curve out here one drop two drop three drop that's the one two three that you want in these situations and the three happens to be brutal cathar so she gets to take down the only creature on the other side and knock fatoshi down to 17 with a board coming that's gonna get bolstered by thali's lieutenant as well Ooh, but look at this oh, there's that munitions expert we just talked about paul right and now again now we're looking at three goblins in play with a muxus in hand so if fatoshi once get a little bit frisky next turn can just sacrifice his entire board and uh and cast a muxus and we know uh how exciting that can be when that happens that's right it can be a game ender you do have to get a little fortunate to have it just end the game on the spot but it doesn't take that much right. and a lot of times you can get enough to win the game the next turn here's ranger captain of eos though for aria and she can search up thraben inspector giant killer which you know, the damage is kind of done by the time the Muxus hits the board anyway. So she's going to opt for a Thraben Inspector to uh, bolster for the future. But check that out. Thalia's Lieutenant waiting in the wings. That could be very good. As Arya passes the turn back over to Fatoshi. Boy, what yeah. tribe are you supposed to be, Paul? <laughs> Sinking humans, I, but I, these goblins well, look you, pretty you good. You know, I, I think the humans deck is, is a much more well-balanced deck in the sense that you can really go up against a lot of these other decks, try to do different strategies because you have so many ways to disrupt what your opponent's doing. The Goblins deck is far more linear. My plan is to run out Goblins, get Scarf Prospector out, get some Wily Goblins in play, and ramp up to a Muxus and kill you dead as quickly as possible. There's a lot of creatures here that are really problematic for the Selesnya Humans deck, right? You have Muxus, of course, that you just can't stop if you, if you get to Muxus. Additionally, um, you have Krenko, right? If you can just get a Krenko onto the battlefield, what is a human's deck to do? Right. They have to beat you within the next turn or two, or you're just going to flood the board. Here comes Goblin War Chief, the good old fashioned way, just tap three mana for it from Iwata, which means he's decided not to go for it, Paul. You were saying that it would be a consideration to just drop Muxus, but it looks like Iwata says, you know what? I'm okay. I'm just going to keep building out my board. Plus, I'll tell you, you know, a goblin like Warchief that gives haste to all your other goblins is very much a combo piece. And now he's got that down. He needs less to hit off of the Muxus now. Yeah. Although now that Arya is running out this Thalia's lieutenant here, that's probably going to put a lot more pressure on Futoshi to try to get that Muxus into play next turn. Yeah, I like where he's at, right? As long as he doesn't die here, if he can have a board state that has the goblin Warchief up, and then he casts Muxus, that takes care, you know, that that's the one of the key pieces to getting an instant kill. In the meantime, Arya is smashing in there, 
four creatures hit the red zone and it Watt is going to take six. all of it down to six. Yeah. And, and this I is mean, where Arya is like, okay, good yeah, luck. And, and, and that's her game plan here, right? I mean, she, yeah. it, look, it's like, I don't want this game to go too long. If the game goes too long, Muxus is going to take over. Krenko is going to take over. My advantage is that early in the game, my creatures are bigger than yours, right? I mean, take a look at that after that attack. Futoshi just couldn't block with any of his creatures. They were all 1-1s and 2-2s. And here she was attacking with a bunch of 4-4s, 2-3s, and 3-4s. Here's a big turn, Paul. All right. Muxus, Goblin, Grandee on the battlefield. Spin the wheel for Fatoshi. Can he find a way to oh, win? Oh, oh my geez. goodness! Including a mu munitions Ouch. expert. And that is exactly what you didn't want to see if you're sitting in Arya's seat. She just has to say, well, what am I supposed to do about that? Nothing. I mean, the, the deck big just isn't equipped for this. Munitions expert can kill one of the blockers left over. And even though Arya is sitting at a very cushiony 20 life, it looks like it's going to be zero here. Right. I mean, but also oh, just I keep might in be mind. wrong. Futoshi doesn't have to attack with everything here, right? He, he, he can also just choose to attack with a Muxus. Wow. Attack Futoshi's for 10. so close. He actually has 21, but, but one block would mean it's not lethal. <laughs> exactly. And then he would just die. I mean, keep in mind, Fatoshi does have more mana, right? He has uh, a pair of Scarf Prospectors in play. He has a treasure. Uh, so he could potentially try to run out another Muxus here. Oh, I'm here and, for it, Paul. And ensure that he has a lethal attack here. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's a little tough. It is a little tough. You have to give up a lot of your board here to do that. But you also have to be mindful of your matchup, right? You're playing against humans. If you just say go, what can they do, right? Right. There, there's right. no way that they can just, there's no reach in the deck. There's no way for them to sneak in damage. If you just have a bunch of chump blockers here, a lot of these creatures aren't even gonna be chump blockers. I mean, you're still gonna be fine. Portable hole off the top here is gonna take care of one of the creatures. There's also a Luminarch Aspirant for Arya. She's got a lot more work to do to try to get through this wall of goblins that Fatoshi has uh, produced. Can she force any type of action? No, attack. just the Muxus is enough to hold back everything. Yeah, and, and curious to see what Fatoshi goes for here. Is he going to just go for just, Muxus? Yeah, because he can sack one creature and cast Muxus because it's cheaper because of the War Chief, and then there's that treasure. Right. That has to be enough. I mean, it would have to be a big whiff here. And the thing is, even if he whiffs, he's still probably okay. He's got a matron in hand, can go get another Muxus if he really needs. <laughs> this goblin stack. <laughs> the amount that we've seen it in this tournament is perfect. <laughs> 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 we've had a little too much before, and right. I kind of miss it when it's gone. It's but a, it's this the is right nice. amount. It, this Just is the, the right, right amount. Let's get another Muxus on the battlefield here for Iwata. And what does he hit? Uh, a war well, chief? another war chief and a couple a wily goblins? And a chieftain. Yeah, yeah, and a chieftain. So not... It might just be lethal anyway, or at least in it, to, to put Ari in a situation where she has to chump block with a bunch of stuff. But right. again, Iwata looks like he's content to play fairly conservatively here and just attack with, with Muxus. Yeah. I mean, Arya doesn't have to block. She can just uh, say, yeah. "Sure, I guess I take 15. Yeah, it's just I, I'm, I'm it's trying to be to, company here. I'm trying to imagine a card that can get her out of this. Yeah, I, I always think of company into yeah. two, uh, two removal. cards that that are effectively removal. Yeah, but it wasn't to be. It was a, a planes off the top, and Futoshi Iwata evens things up record wise with. Uh, with Aria, they're both sitting at seven and three now.